Hi everyone, Mark here again from Learn As I Do. So I've just bought this Yeti Nano microphone to try and improve the sound quality on my videos. Hopefully you can tell the difference. Hit that like button to let me know if you can. Anyway, I've plugged it into my laptop and been greeted by this blinking yellow warning light. You can see that when I try and switch the microphone on or off, I get that flash of red or green, but then straight back to the yellow blink. But fear not, it's an easy fix and here's how. So the first thing to do is to download the Blue Sherpa app. This app is made by the manufacturer and gives you access to more specific microphone settings. Head over to bluedesigns.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Before selecting the appropriate download link. And once installed, this is what you should see. The home tab that we're on now should identify the product you have installed. I believe this is used across all blue microphones, so not just specific to the Yeti Nano. Moving across to the Yeti Nano tab brings up the detail settings. Now it's this red warning box that we're particularly interested in. And as you can see, it says input and output sampling rates are mismatched. So we're gonna go ahead and match them up. Select the Yeti Nano microphone from the list and go into the properties. Move across to the advanced tab and switch the default sample rate to the two channel 24 bit 48,000 Hertz. I'm not gonna to pretend to know what it all means, but hey, if it works. Apply that before okaying back out to the Sherpa app. You'll see the red warning light has disappeared, which is good. And that's all there is to it. So the flashing yellow light has gone and I can switch between the red off and the green on solid lights again. Please hit that like button if you found this useful, it really does help. And I'll see you on the next one.